Mass shootings at schools and businesses seem to be happening with alarming frequency these days, but security concerns are also becoming a big issue in one of the places where most people think they should feel safe, churches. And that is the topic tonight at a special security training seminar in the suburbs. Craig Wall is live in Arlington Heights with the experts who say churches and their congregations need to be thinking about this, Craig. Yeah, Jeff, you're right. Many churches first started thinking about the need to prepare for an active shooter incident after the shooting that happened at the church in Charleston, South Carolina this past summer. It was a wake-up call that, well, churches maybe really didn't want to have to confront, but experts say churches are soft targets, and so it's something they need to do in today's day and age. You know, and it's a terrible thing that we should even be talking about this. In sanctuaries where praise songs and preaching go hand in hand, pastors are now learning a lesson in prevention. We want our families to be safe, and we want them to feel safe. But after nine people, including a pastor, were gunned down in a Charleston, South Carolina church, other houses of worship wondered, could it happen to them? That really rattled a number of people in our congregation, including myself. I mean, that was a horrifying you know, incident. What would you do if you heard a gunshot right now out in the foyer? Tonight, the Arlington Countryside Church hosted a special training seminar inviting other churches and the community to learn what they need to do in case of the unthinkable. So it's react to what, you know, you know, if you think you hear a gunshot. And then it's escape, move, start going. Don't think about things, just get out the doors in order for you to survive. Staff, greeters, and ushers need to be looking out for suspicious activity and then report it. People in church need to know where the exits are so they can get out. I'm a retired school teacher and we always practice stranger danger and um, I feel like I want to be aware and prepared as well as I was then. Pastor Corlo says he doesn't want to push the panic button but he wants to be prepared. We're all about faith and we're all about trusting God for our protection, but um, the average churchgoer, when they go to bed at night, they lock their front door. The underlying message here tonight from the experts is react, escape, and survive. And it is something that a lot of churches are really starting to plan for. In fact, Jeff, I was at a meeting this past Saturday morning at our church where we were talking about that very same thing. The pastor here says he hopes to have a plan in place by Easter, but he's not sure whether it's going to involve armed or unarmed security personnel. Back to you. All right, Craig Wall live in Arlington Heights tonight. Craig, thanks a lot.